So I mentioned earlier about what I call the leadership gap. It's this, it's this lack of experience, skills and knowledge that are helping sellers return back to um, a, a more normal environment that they've coveted whilst been in their you know, lockdowns, customers have been less, uh, have been harder to engage with, maybe budgets have moved around and, you know, people that were in the sales pipelines are now not in the sales pipelines, priorities have changed. So there's this whole sense of, um, you know, anxiety and concern about returning to work, returning to work about what's that going to look like? Have I got to start from a, a, a position of, you know, new networks? Does that mean that making my sales targets becomes harder? Does that mean there's going to be pressure on me from the business to achieve those? So I, so I think what we have at the moment in sale, in the sales sense is from a very sort of emotional behavioral perspective, a real opportunity to act as leaders and provide the environment with the support, the structure that actually helps sellers re-establish their equilibrium in a new working environment. Um, recognizing more of the hybrid working, recognizing the habits of buyers and therefore of sellers over this last two years of the pandemic have probably changed how we're going to do work forever. Therefore, if you're trying as a business to go back to the things that you did before the pandemic, well, people have probably moved on. So I think there's this real issue that I'm sensing with businesses we speak to, that sellers are actually apprehensive and anxious about re-entering the workplace. And I think this is a great time for organizations to stand back and think about what they need to put in place, be it through structure or process or leadership skills to address and support this space. Yeah, and I think, in terms of the the day to day sort of doing side of things, I think we've got to get over that. Um, what got you here won't get you there <laughs> approach, and this assumption that somehow we're still on pause and everything's going to go back to February 2020, and we'll go back to doing how we always used to do things because that's how it's always been done, and we don't know any other way, and we're going to force our buyers to buy this way. Buyers have a lot more control, they have more information, they have more research at their fingertips and companies and organisations have to embrace that and not, not fear it. Um, start making champions more of the workforce as individuals, not just as a faceless brand because that's what buyers are expecting. So for me, I think the biggest blocker is or challenge is making sure that how organisations are selling aligns with how buyers are buying and that has changed drastically uh, over the past two years.